ungeuliza nyinyi tu hiyo ya hiyo imefanyika imefanyika we manage we get the conflict kereke kotini justice ipatikane lakini tusie kusanya tusie fulise vitu mpaka ifike kiwango town yote inasimama biashara hakuna na huenda mtu mwingine pia aumie hata mwenye yako anajua ni nini inaendelea Mandela so ni hiyo tu 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 tusikiliane tu tu tuwe karibu karibu ukipata information kama hiyo unasema kuna mahali unaona mama fulani haja fuatwa na alihusika to the relevant person the io if the io has got the information and is doing nothing ndio hata kitu ya kwanza si nikupatia ni namba ya ya simu yeye ndio mali unaona yeye sana just go i don't be able to na ndio ni commandera haki kama kama mara kwanza kwa namna yangu ndio ndio mali unaona upati mzuri maneno ya sheria hiyo nimeambiwa yeye ana esa device wewe in the right track hiyo ndio Yeah. Mm. So, so the Nigeria so, uh, the 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 such act hata hao wakifanya kitu kwa wakitorokea hapa tunashika tunawarudishia si ndio so they should reciprocate what we do also of course i know there must be a miscellaneous application that was filed yes so probably when it is coming up next now that uh, you need to close that file so that you can take it no, it's next week that's i i uh, generally told you yes. at the end of the by the end of the month yes. the suspect will be before court in garisa and we shall involve you no, thank you yeah. Oh, uh, every uh, each person concerned will be informed of the program. Ni vile tu sikuwezi kuambia atatoka hapa siku fulani. You know how our rules are. Yeah. <laughs> For the proper presentation and the family also. Yes. Just probably what we will be asking if it is possible if we can get a copy of that miscellaneous application. Mm. Yes, it will be of importance to us. Yeah. Yes. Yeye yeah. 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 Kumekaa na watu ya Gambo na wazee wa Gare community pamoja na hiyo watu ya Gambo. Paka saa hii Mandela pamoja na MC yetu na wazee tulipita watu na tulisema no take things in your hands. We are very peace making people ni watu amani tunajulikana historia katika Kenya hii mm. from 1963 ambaye tulianza hii tam ambaye inaitwa Mandela yes these were my cousins eh, ni watu ni baba yangu ndogo zote wa mashakali hasan mm. amin these were the leaders one family is coming from sisi ndio mwanzia wa hii miji mm. sasa ile kitu inatushangaza mm. Mandela leo yes ni watu ya gambo ambao unajua sasa naitwa Marehan when were they accepted in Kenya? Hii watu ukiuliza mtu leta kipande yake leo hapo kwa kabila lingine. Always there's no court for Marehani in Madara town. Madara Kenya. It's not a crime. They are they are foreigners. They are foreigners. Na foreign ambaye anaenda hata kwa mkutano wa kindiki kama juzi nilikuwa hapa. Nimeambia they were there. How do you accept a foreigner who has two cars ambaye kama hii watu kijana aliua kama angekuwa mkenya hake tofauti ya form niko hii ile miserini ya application you are very sana because some of some of the problems that kenya have is lack of information communication uh, communication the breakdown in communication so they end up now making conclusions kwamba pengine the police department is sleeping on their job or they have been compromised in whatever they are doing which conclusions are not necessarily also correct it means either they are not informed properly juchunguzi it's a process in itself sasa hiyo wakielewa kama hiyo miscellaneous in itself unajua waelewi au wanajua mtu akiua anafaa haraka haraka apeleke akajibu mashtaka so when you have that miscellaneous application waambia 
hii ni tool ya investigations hiyo akienda wa kipezo siku kadhaa inawasaidia wanafanya uchunguzi wao baadaye sasa itafungwa hii file ikifungwa akimbizwa apelekwe Garissa ni wasiuliza tena mbona wanapeleka mtu wetu Garissa so hiyo hiyo tena sasa tutamuelezea kama ni Garissa tuanze ku make arrangements tujue kama itapelekwa Nairobi because sometimes they, they are also taken to Nairobi so you you discuss with them wanaelewa Mm. Uh, the person we have, uh, we've got the evidence, is the right person, and he will be taken to court, to Garissa, to answer charge police, who is at the large. Uh, somebody, Ahmed Mahari Mabdinur, uh, we shall make our efforts, and we are making, uh, to make sure that he is apprehended. Uh, we understand this uh, from uh, a foreign tribe, but the uh, efforts are being put in place to to to, to apprehend him. Yes. And uh, once he is gotten, uh, he is uh, arrested. He shall also face the law. Yes. And uh, what I can only request the family is to be calm. Meanwhile, is uh, the course of justice takes place. na huwa tunafanya kazi katika um, ofisi ya kisheria ya Danstan Umari na tumekuja kusaidia kutatua kisheria swala so, hili la na jinsi jambo hili tutajaribu kulitatua Kenya mzima kwa sababu nyinyi mnaweza kuwa umepoteza ndugu sisi pia tunapoteza ndugu pande ile nyingine ya Kenya kwa hivyo sisi uh, kama mlivyoelezwa tajia pengine wale wako na runinga mliweza kuyaona mambo yalivyotokea na kidogo afya yake ikatindika ika kidogo lakini yako sawa tumezungumza naye tulikuwa nafaa kuja naye asubuhi lakini atungeza kuja naye kwa hivyo uh, kuna matukio yalito, yalitokea tarehe moja mwezi wa Februari mwaka huu mnajua ndugu yetu Hashim Okash aliuawa na mmoja wa, wa wale ambao walifanya kitendo hicho akapotea si mnajua mnafahamu si ndio na akapotea kaelekea pande hii ya Somaliland. Huko Somalia. Baada ya kupotea huko so tukakuja tukakaa na ndugu yetu anaitwa Shukri. Sijui yuko pande gani. Yes, yes, Shukri yako hapa. Akaja ofisini tukazungumza, tukapanga safari hii. Na hapo kabla tukamshauri ya kwamba ni muhimu sana jambo hili tuliweze kutia maanani sana tusukume. Kwa sababu mara mingi mara mingi tunaona watu wa DCI kuna wakati fulani wanaua wanasusia kazi yao si ndio alafu wananchi wanapoteza imani na wao kwa sababu dakika ya mwisho watu wapati haki tukaamua siku ya leo tuweze kuja tutembelee ofisi ya DCI na tutembelee ofisi ya CCIO ili tuweze kuelewa uchunguzi huu umefikia wapi si ndio najua ni matarajio yetu ya kwamba watu wamba, watu ambao walihusika katika kisanga hiki wote wale ambao walichukua kisu wale ambao walisaidia yule ambaye alichukua kisu watu hao wote waweze kuchukuliwa hatua kwa hivyo tumekuwa na mkutano dakika chache zilizopita na DCIO na CCIO hapa Mandera tukamzungumzia tulikuwa pamoja na wazee hawa wa heshima pale katika ofisi yake na kitu moja ambacho tumekuja kuelewa ni kwamba kuna jamaa mmoja anaitwa Hajiu Amali Nur yule ambaye anasemekana alimshika ndugu yetu mkono ndiposa kisukile kika akikamfikia katika shingo yule kijana tayari ametiwa mbaroni ako ndani hapa jela na kuna kuna application ilifanywa 
application niombi lilifanywa katika mahakama kuomba siku kadhaa ili wachunguzi waweze kufanya udadisi wao statements ziweze kuchukuliwa na wale watu ambao walishuhudia jambo lilotendeka na jambo uh, statements tayari zimeshachukuliwa kesi hiyo hiyo ya investigations itaisha on monday hii juma jumapili au jumatatu ijayo ikiisha yu mtu yule atachukuliwa apelekwe mpaka Garissa High Court akipelekwa Garissa High Court ndi, ndi posa aweze kufunguliwa mashtaka ya kumuua ndugu yetu kwa hivyo uchunguzi bado unaendelea hiyo file tumeomba tuta... aweze tuweze kushirikiana katikati ya viongozi wa usalama wa Kenya hapa Mandera na pande ile ingine ili tuweze kumkamata huyu mhalifu na jam... wanarudi kwao huko Somalia na tunashindwa kupata haki kwa sababu watu wale wanapotea wanaenda wanajificha huko kwao. Kwa hivyo sisi kutoka hapa tunaenda bado kushirikiana na hawa. Familia zote ambazo zinashirikiana na hawa wahalifu pia waanze kufanya uchunguzi ndipo kisa kisanga hiki ambacho kimetupata kisijirudie. Tuko pamoja? Kwa sababu leo ni ndugu yetu. Kesho hatujui ni nani. Na ili ili tu, tuepuke mambo kama haya asijirudie. Lazima tuchukue hatua, tusome kulingana na kitu ambacho kimetendeka. Tuchukue hatua ambazo zatusaidia jambo hilo lisiweze kurudiwa. Kwa hivyo nyinyi tunawaomba muwe na imani na kazi yetu, muwe na imani na sisi muweze kutusupport wakati huyu kijana atatolewa hapa apelekwe kule Garissa. Pia sisi tutakuwa pale kutini kama ni cashbell ama bond tutaopoze tutakataa atuwezi ruhusu watu ambao wana, wanaua wanachukua maisha ya watu kiholela holela kwa sababu wanajua pengine kutakuwa na ile makao ya wazee wazungumze washirikiane pengine kuwa na ile compensation atakubali kwa sababu hii pesa mtu na mtu uwezi maisha ya mtu uwezi linganisha na milioni moja ama milioni mbili Dio. Maisha ya mtu ni mambo ya maana sana. Kwa hivyo tutaruhusu mtu anaua mwingine akiwa na uhakika ya kwa sababu kwamba ati baada ya yeye kumuua wata, wazee watakaa chini kukuwa na ile compensation. Hapana tutaruhusu. Kwa hivyo hayo ni mambo ambayo tutapeleka kotini, tutaomba mahakama imnyime imnyime cash bill ama imnyime bond. Akae huko ndani apate funzo mpaka wakati kesi itakapoisha. Na mimi wananchi mimi nawaomba mtu yote ambaye alishuhudia jambo lolote lile ajitokeze ili aweze kusaidia wachunguzi wale tuweze kupata haki. Kwa sababu kuna kuna pia wako na wasiwasi kidogo ya watu fulani ambao wako na ushahidi hawatokei. Hawajitokelezei ili waweze kupata ile ushahidi tight ambayo itafanya watu hawa waweze kutiwa mbaroni. Nadhani hayo tu ndio kufikia sasa pengine kama kuna swali mimi nitaweza kujibu amefanya kitendo kile ama amehusika katika kitendo hicho kazi yetu na hii ni kitu tu tumekula kiapo kazi yetu ni kuensure ya kwamba dakika ya mwisho watu wale watachukuliwa hatua na jambo hili litajirudia tena asanteni sana kwa wakati wenu ah tutakuwa na nyinyi bado hapa kama kuna issue yote tutaweza ku address ndio kwa kimombo acha niseme hivi this is a cousin so we cannot take it lightly and i know from our end we will be working very closely with the hashim okash have been brought to book and they have and together with him to ensure that that offense happened and we lost our brother we have urged the security personnel to ensure that we have this all all these people who participated in all these things we are hoping that in the fullness of time justice shall reign who is on the run the puppet has been arrested or is arrested on the other other side and is brought back to the country to ensure that he responds to his crimes in this country that no stone will be left unturned but when the perpetrators of this murder are arraigned before the garissa high court will be there will be there to represent the interest of the family will be there to ensure who is expectant 
and three children. So we urge the family to be strong at this trying time. Ameaga dunia. naombi naomba. And we are aware, at least this is what we've gathered from our country, Somali. Somali, to our country. And there are families in Kenya who are assisting these individuals to get documentation. So it is our responsibility, and this is an undertaking we are giving to the family and the people of Mandera. So this in itself exposes us to external exigencies. We run the risk of exposing ourselves because there are people who come here take information with the aim of doing whatever they want to do with it. Unapata unapata na hapa akienda na safari. Hii nchi Mandera imekuwa nchi ambayo haina watu. Tunauliwa pole. Serikali haitaki kujua hiyo. Sisi tunasema wajia na gareza iko nidhamu lakini Mandera hakuna nidhamu. Tumekuwa kama wanyama tunauliwa hapa na serikali yetu haijui. Juzi nasikia kindiki alikuwa hapa hata hakuambia watu ya Mandera pole kwa ile shida ilitokea. Hata kwa hiyo kwa hiyo mkutano yake kulikuwa na watu ambao wametoka ngambo walikuwa wanakaa ndani. Who are foreigners in that meeting. I don't know why he allowed and why the security of Mandera allowed. Mimi ningependa kusema kutoka leo mimi I'm appealing to the president we want protection we want the government of Kenya to protect us serikali ya Kenya ilinde amani yetu na nchi yetu hatuna ardhi hatuna nchi hatuna miji hatuna usalama hiyo hatuza kubali shida yote ambayo inatokea hapa bado itatokea na Robi na mali zingine na bado niko shida yote inatokea huko inatokana hapa hii ndio malango ambayo shida mambo yote yanapitia ikipitia hapa inaenda huko na Robi inaenda kwa ribu Kenya nyingine kama sisi wakaji wa hapa tunaambia Mandela is not in hand. We want the government to to attack the security in Guinea. Maneno ya usalama ya Mandela ya Guinea sawa sawa. Itumane watu ya Guinea ile maneno yote tunasema. Kama hiko kama hakuna wajue kwamba hiyo ndio sisi tunataka. Juu ya hiyo mimi ningesema kama jamii tulisema tunapata sheria na tunaongoja amri kutoka serikali. That's why tulienda Nairobi kuchukua wakili na tufuatilie ke sheria. Hatuna uwezo mwingine, hatuna silaha, hatuna bunduki. Lakini kila jamii hapo watu wanajuana hakuna Somalia katika familia ya Somali ambaye hawana watu wao um, who are armed all over the country ama hata nchi zingine tuko naye lakini bado tunapata sheria ya nchi na bado tunapata amri ya serikali this is too much chief yetu ameuliwa wazee wetu wameuliwa watu wetu wanauliwa kila siku barabara ilija kutoka hapa paka Mandela kwenda Arabia imefungwa ukiuliza hawa wanakuambia wanataja jina ya wengine ambaye hata tunajua ni wazuri kushinda hawa. Kuna jeshi nyingine utanaitanga jeshi ya wazee. Ashel they are more better than the system in Bulhawa. Hata ni waislamu kushinda hawa. Hawa wanafanya biashara, wanakaa na sisi hapa, wako hapa. Kama juzi wakati ambaye madaktari walikuwa na walikuwa wanachukuliwa. So, saa 12 asubuhi hakuna mtu mmoja familia walikuwa na sisi hapa. Wote wameenda. Walijuaje kama hiyo madaktari wasachukuliwa? They know what's ever happening in Mandela. Mimi nasema tunataka serikali ya Kenya ijue ya kwamba kuna shida Mandera na wajue kuna shida kama hawataki kujua watakuja kujua mambo ikiharibika mimi nasema nitawachia hapa eh bila wakili alisema tutafuatilia hiyo maneno ya kisheria inshallah na tutaambia nyinyi mambo yote vile yuko na panda ya Somalia juzi tulikana na hawa wa customs post pamoja na eh security yetu ya Mandera walisema utaleta hiyo mtu tunaongoja kwa hao waleta hiyo mtu hiyo mtu wakileta We shall be peaceful, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Kali mbili ya Somalia na Kenya umeahidi ya kwamba watalete hiyo mutu ambaye ya mehua hiyo familia ya Hashim. Wakilete hatuna maneno. Kesi inaendele tuko na mutu moja hapa katika sel inaenda gariza tunangoja. Lakini wale wanajita sasa hawa ni wa Kenya na wazee wa, wa, wa Mandela mimi najua wazee wa Mandela iko kabila hilo ile angereza yamewacha tunajua wale waka tunaishi na hao kama unajifikiri wewe ni mtu wa Mandela na wewe si mtu wa Mandela wewe iko na kofia mbili ama iko na kofia tatu hiyo maneno imeisha and we are really appealing to the government national security kindiki you must come back to Mandela and talk to the leaders of Mandela na viongozi wa Mandela na wazee wa Mandela original mkae naye na lazima ujue 
iko shida gani iko Mandera kabla hii maneno hai hai isiende vibaya hii maneno ni tuko katika bomb juu ya bomb ikipasuka itaharibu mambo mengi sana we want him to come and talk to the leaders of this communities who are really from Mandera how could you allow a foreigner who has just got identification in wrong manners to come and sit in a security of uh, 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 the security of Kenya. It is really embarrassing. It is a shame to the government where the eyes of the uh, officer of president is here. This uh, county commission is here, regional commission is there. They have histories. They have records of this country from 1963 up to death who are the original community for this Mandara county. When you, you cannot live in two countries and say, I am working on a location in the Korome, I'm a neighbor in the Kabila, and I'm a Marahan. That's it. It's not. 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 Tutaenda kotini. Marehans are not Kenyans. Marehans belong to Somalia. Wakawa nchiao, wakikuja, wakawa inaadabu na sisi. Kwa hiyo machache, poleni, wote, kumani wati ya bandara, tumepoteza mutu, hatutaku, tupoteza mutu ingine yote. Ile watu wamebaki, diyo hiko faida kwetu. So, uchunge nchienu. Hakuna watchman ingine. Watchman ni nani? Chunga nchienu Kwa hiyo machache ya santeni sana Thank you very much Tunamili sikali Tunangoja ukuchunguzi Tumewacha hile manena usabia ya Mokono mokono tumewacha Tumesema waninchi wapoe Wakai wangoje Haki Haki kutoka sikali Kwa hivyo Sizi kama waninchi ya mandera Ama community hii Tunapenda amani Sawu watu saba Mwezi mbili tatu Uliuwa hivo, na tunakaa tu, tunabumilia, unanyezo kwa amba kivu si tenataka amani. Badu tenataka amani. Na amba wanenji yetu, watulie. Kwa amba tunataka amani, suwabu nchi ni yetu, hile muamba unatupa, unangua kwa zizi. Nyumba ni chomika ni zizi, hile barabana chomwa ni si yetu. Yoyote na umia, Ukiwa na rapsha ni yetu ya umia Mali na porwa ni yetu Kwa hivyo wa renchi wetu Wa bandera ama community hii Na mba nyingi Tafadhili sana Tue mtilifu kama ilikuwa tunakuwa mtilifu Tuongoje Uchunguzi Nafanyu wana Security kama DCI Mba wana shuhuka niwe kazi Tunangojea Sisi kama community na ituwe mpulifu Na tunataka Vile wazia mesema mbele angu Lazima wale wale kuja Waishimu wale huko Tue pamoja, tue amani Pamoja, mutu na uuliwa Holela, holela bure Tumesimamisha yu maneno kwa zia leo Mambo fidia, tumekata Tunasema kwa amba Tunaomba Katuko na imani na Sikali yetu Tafadhali ufoye uchunguzi zaidi Ukazi ya sikali ya Somalia Hiyo jamaa Walagai iletwe Iyo ndo tunomba. Sante ni sana. Ora. 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 So the person who has been arrested must be within the shortest time be taken to court and he takes plea on this case of murder. And uh, we assume this case will not go less it is a murder case. That is to our conclusion on Hajio, the man now in the custody. Thank you very much. That is the appeal I send to the government of Kenya.